in this video i'm going to show you how to transform your 2d images to 3d with just shadows so first and foremost we are going to create a new document and we are going to grab the rectangular tool so we are going to create a rectangle we are going to change the color field for the rectangle then we are going to resize it Ctrl T, we right click and we are going to skew. So we skew that. Then we click the check mark to confirm. With the layer selected, we are going to position it very well. Then Ctrl J, we make a copy. Then we are just going to shift this one. Ctrl T, we right click and we flip horizontal. So we are going to position it and adjust it very well. So let's zoom in and position this well. So we are going to make this a bit smaller, a bit smaller, we reduce it a bit. We are going to hold these two layers and resize them, make them smaller. We create a new layer. Then we are going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. We are going to create a selection just on top of this. So we create a selection this way. We create a selection this way. Then we right click and we are filling it with the foreground color black. So we are filling with the foreground color which is black. Alright, Ctrl D to the select. Now we are going to zoom in and make sure everything is aligned properly. So we zoom in here. Ctrl T we right click and then we distort. So we are just going to align that and make it. So we have to adjust. Ctrl T we right click and then we distort. We have to adjust this a bit. Alright. You are going to grab the polygonal lasso to create a selection this way. Then we are going to select layer 1 and delete this portion so that we have it right on top all right let's grab the images so this is the front and this is the side so ctrl c but first and foremost we are going to hold the two layers ctrl c then we copy all together ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste so we can toggle this off and we'll work with this but first and foremost, we are going to change the color overlay for this layer. So we we'll go to blending options, then we'll change the color overlay to this S code right here. Now we are just going to grab a, the ruler. So we actually have it on edge on the edge of the two rectangles. So we just make the image smaller. And we are just going to position it. We zoom in and we position it properly. Then Ctrl T, we right click and we are going to distort. So we are just distorting it to fit onto the shape, onto the two rectangle shape we have created. All right, we have it this way. So you can zoom in and check whether if that is properly done and you just right click and distort once again.
So we zoom in, go to it, we right click, and then we distort properly. We check the edges and then we can correct it as. So for this item, we are going to take care of that. So we'll do the, exactly the same thing, Control T, we distort. Then we are just going to zoom in and position it very well. We are just applying the same idea as, as the first one. Now we have everything in place and we are just going to off the two rectangle layers because we don't need them. Alright, this is what we have. But in order to make the 3D look realistic, we are just going to be applying exposure adjustment layers. So apply some shadows and highlights and make it look way better. So we are going to toggle the background layer off. Then we press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers into one. We make a copy. Then we convert to a smart object. So we can put the first copy off. Then we are just going to apply exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. Then we are going to get the grab a polygonal lasso to create a selection first. Then we are going to grab the brass tool, set foreground to white. Then we are going to paint some shadows. So hardness is set to zero. Then we are going to paint some shadows. With the mark selected. Then we are painting some shadows. This is before and after. We go to select and reselect. So we are reselecting the selection. And we are going to paint more shadows. Ctrl D to deselect. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Then we are going to create a selection. So basically the same thing. We are creating a selection, then we can just apply shadows. We are actually creating selection because I don't, we don't want the shadow to go out of range. So basically the same thing. You create an exposure adjustment layer. You create a selection and then you apply shadows. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.